I'm Jeremy from Craft Brewing, and this is how I like to take a hydrometer reading. Alright, so the first trick for taking a proper hydrometer reading is, of course, acquire some of your beer, uh, whether it's, I guess, wort pre-fermentation or beer post-fermentation. Um, you know, somewhere right around here, kind of close to the top, but not so full that when you plunk your hydrometer in, you're going to overflow everywhere and get beer all over the place, uh, but not so low that your hydrometer is going to be resting on the bottom, just a happy medium, something like this. The next part is actually read the instructions for your hydrometer. Um, for this particular hydrometer here, they explain, first of all, the two things you need to look for are the temperature at which you should properly be reading your gravity, and secondly, whether it is uh, at the meniscus or below the meniscus, which is just kind of where any liquid will bubble up along the side of the hydrometer. So this one here, you can see it's below the meniscus. It's essentially at uh, where the rest of the liquid will be. So you kind of have to just uh, go squinty-eyed and pretend you know what you're doing in order to make this work properly. While I'm talking about reading the instructions, please notice that the first sentence here says, Handle your hydrometer with care. Um, to do so, one of the things that I like to do is I actually throw a bunch of vinyl tape around the bottom of this one, um, so that way you don't have this total disaster where you pick up your hydrometer, the bottom falls out, said hydrometer, which is extremely fragile, falls, shatters all over the floor, and then you pee yourself because you have to go spend $12 on a new hydrometer. So, handy little tip. Go. Alright, so what I have here is a sample of my fermented and attenuated beer. Um, I've got my hydrometer and I've got my thermometer. Um, the important thing is with this one, it's 60 Fahrenheit is where it's uh, properly calibrated to. You can go ahead and follow what they talk about for um, adjusting for temperature change, but honestly, why not actually read at the proper temperature? This is what this thing is calibrated for. You're not relying on math or anything like that in order to get your reading. It's, a it's potentially more accurate. So when I pull this thing out, it's always warmer than 60 degrees unless I've been fermenting some sort of a lager or something like that. So I'll just take this, chuck it in the, in the freezer actually for a few minutes and then bring it out. Don't just take your thermometer and toss it in and expect it to get an accurate reading. I like to take it, I'll cap the top, I'll rotate it like this several times until I uh, you know, kind of know that everything's mixed in, get a proper temperature reading, and, you know, if you need to adjust from there, you can. If you overshoot that and you get too cold, just take this, hold it underneath uh, hot water, let it stream down here. I like to spin it around, and um, again, cap, rotate, mix up the liquid, make sure you absorb all the temperature uh, change off of the actual outside, get another reading. Once I've hit my 60 degrees, which is where I'm at with this, take your hydrometer very carefully, out of the tube and gently place it inside your beer. Again, please note that this is hovering uh, just about an inch above the bottom because if you're touching the bottom, you're not getting an accurate reading. Um, if you've got a lot of foam on here, you can use a little, maybe uh, some paper towel or something just to get it out of there because you actually want to be able to see the lines. It also helps to make sure that you are on a level surface. So for this one here, I'm sitting at, again, reading below the meniscus, pretty much at 1016, which is exactly what I was going for. So, fantastic. There you have it. Super easy to do a hydrometer reading, as long as you're paying attention to the temperature of your beer or wort, and also where you should be looking for to get a proper reading, um, whether it's at or below the meniscus. So that's a super easy way to get an accurate reading on your hydrometer, make sure you know what's going on with your beer. I mean, the numbers are what it comes down to, um, besides taste. Uh, for more information, uh, go to craftbrewing.com, click on forum, interact with our community, and uh, yeah, have a good time. Stay accurate, people.